Ah yes, it is again based base game of Hearts of Iron 4. Hello there boys and small percentage of girls, it is me, Mountain General, the Slovak madman, the bad man, the only warlord of Zahorje. Back on my grind set, so if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more Hearts of Iron 4 stuff. And before we get into today's video I'm proud to announce that this video is sponsored by Opera G. GX. I have been personally using Opera GX for a while now and I'm fully satisfied. It is truly the best browser for the based gamers. You have here on your sidebar all the social media you need such as Discord, Twitter, your Twitch, Instagram, Whatsapp at all times at your fingertips. You also can get for yourself here in easy setup some custom wallpapers that are even animated. So here you have a vast selection of animated wallpapers so you can choose to your heart's content. Personally I'm big Star Wars fan so I'm getting Mr. Revanovich here. It is that easy. In addition to Opera having its own extension store, Opera GX is fully compatible with Google Chrome extensions as well. Switching to Opera GX is extremely easy with the features of importing your bookmarks. You can basically import your old bookmarks from the browser you use to use Chrome, Microsoft Edge and you can choose what do you want to add or not. Opera GX also comes to your mobile device with a new feature Flow. Scan a QR code with your phone and then transfer files from your phone to your PC or from your computer to your phone. Another great feature is Hot Tab Skiller. The feature allows you to identify the most resource draining tabs and just close them. It's that simple. Also what you have is GX cleaner. Remove those old junk files and boost your browser's performance in one click. And boom, nicely done. And still by far my favorite feature is this pop-up window so you can just watch your videos while you are playing your games. You can do a bit of gaming and watch your favorite content creators at the same time. Which is a amazing multitasking if you ask me. Also another added feature that is very beneficial is your own VPN integrated in the browser browser, so you don't have to worry about anything. Another neat thing is adaptive background music. Let the music respond to your browsing. The more you are active, the more interesting it gets. And the best thing is that Opera GX is completely free, so don't hesitate and click the link in the description or in the pinned comment and get yourself a proper gaming browser. Big thank you goes to Opera GX for sponsoring today's video and thank you all for checking out our sponsors that does help a channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back into the gaming. Yo, where are all 1939 gamers at? Just kidding they don't exist and well by the title of the video you know that we are going to Slovakia and I will try to and I will attempt to make this country a naval superpower and well I would like to point out one thing here that Czechoslovakia before the second world war had its own navy the mighty river fleet and I feel like in Hearts of Iron 4 there should be something similar to that that you can have a river fleet on your rivers and fight battles and and support your units in deadly combat. I feel like that would be a neat little touch. But oh well, we have no shore and no sea. That equals no bitches. Like you can see we have a little army, a little air force, no navy and yet we have done the naval focus here. What kind of trolling is this? Like it's even said in the Slovakian wiki for Hearts of Iron 4 that we don't have a navy. Where are my dockyards? But we will change it so this will make a lot of sense later on only in the late game you will see just trust me bro and yeah just for now we will play historically accurate Slovakia that is a very submissive and breedable Slovakia because we are an integrated German puppet woohoo my manpower and my factories. Ah yes, this is the true Slovak high command, like you couldn't literally put anyone there, I'm sure that Slovak army had never had any generals in it. I got a feeling that in Hearts of Iron 3 there were Slovak generals, but I might be mistaken. Like on a side note, I would be glad to pay paradox for extra generals for minor countries like Slovakia, Croatia and so on. Like it would give more depth to the game, but I digress. 
Yes, we will use the shovel man. You know, I have never looked into the chief of the navy and Josef Turanets converted to an admiral, so uh, yeah, let's get him because we will need that navy XP. Oh yeah, let's now get ready to invade Poland. Oh yeah, now it's the gamer time. So yeah, let's go, the brave Slovak army can even push on its own. Oh yeah, you see, Krakow fell into my hands on my own. And yeah, the problem here is mainly, well, the manpower, so we will do one thing. We will just minimize the problem just like that and we should be good on pushing towards Warsaw. sorry Poland but Slovak bicycle divisions are making their way up well it would be cool if we even use those bicycle divisions oh yes yeah, Slovaks will burn down the whole Warsaw. easy <laughs> now we have to get ready for a little different invasion for Schlieffen plan 2.0 now the next stage of my evil plan is to get Krakow under my control because yeah we need extra territory and those extra factories oh yeah this is the true size of the little great slovakia one thing that i notice is that we are missing some trains and well uh, we can't even make those fucking trains because we haven't even discovered them yet so yeah we have to research those little bad boys it is time to change the history it is time to change the history for worse now who was in Paris? The Nitrians were there first. Oh yeah, this is only because of me, by the way. Oh yeah, somehow the fucking Germans created Vichy France before Free France capitulated even. Ah, I love this game. Now, let's get ready for the true challenge for the Soviet Union. Not gonna lie, now we will have little time to chill, little time to prepare our whole nation for a total war. It is just too nice now. And yeah, we have somehow lost all of our military factories. Pain. Yeah, we need to buy a few. We are slowly building our industry up, but we also need to create a spy agency to, well, suppress the Polish. It will be also for us very beneficial if we go to free trade. I don't usually do this, but now we don't have anything to lose, honestly. So yeah, Yaroslav Kotsian will put all the Polish people into their places. Oh yeah, it's nicely going down. We now don't have to worry about Polish people starting an uprising. And now that we regained our one factory, we need to desperately move our autonomy up. So we will do this pretty shitty focus, but we just have to do that. Yeah, we will be getting there slowly but surely. Now from my faction members, I have requested convoys because then we will send them to Germany to increase our autonomy. And now that we have our little convoys here, we will give them all to Germany for 90 autonomy points. So yeah, we will be slowly scamming our allies from convoys and just peddling them to Germans. Genius, I know. Also what we can do is that we can build infrastructure in German lands and that should also give us some of that good old autonomy. And when we gain more compliance in our Polish territory we got one military factory from occupation so our tank production is up boys. The Slovak autonomy goes brrrr. Yeah we will slowly but surely at least move to Reich's protectorat. And this scam will continue. Oh yeah, I got the feeling that soon we will get spicy here. Oh yeah, now it's time to become even more spicy. Oh shit, where are all the Germans? Germany help! Oh yeah, the Hungarians are the true Nibas here. They are helping us defend our new lands. Oh yeah, the Slovak army is pushing onwards, alone. This is what you see versus what the soldiers see. And we just continue pushing onwards throughout the Ukraine. You know there is also a Slovak song about it called Battle of Ukraine. I would play that song but it's copyrighted so instead of that here is a song called Up Boys on the Ships. This legitimizes my naval Slovakia.
Oh yeah, we are going to Kiev, boys. And remember that in 80 years, we will enter this city once again. Mark my words. You know, even the Japanese are the true homies. And well, the Slovak scamming continues. And now we will start our little march towards Moscow. I really love how the entirety of Slovak Air Force is providing air superiority over Belarus. Slovakia strong. Oh, I can feel that city is very very near and yeah it seems like that the slovaks will be able to enter moscow or maybe not so close yet so far now what we need to do is to scam the germans from the ukraine territories but we can't take more than two states i will show you a little trick so we will take crimea ura krimnash and well we will just give it to bulgaria and then we will ask the germans for another state and then give it to bulgaria we will ask the germans again for another state and give it to bulgaria and now that we have this little nice country called bulgaria controlling all of these territories we'll just ask them for as much territory as we can yeah this is a little scam i know so yeah and now we will just build dockyards oh yes baby the collapse of the soviet union is near here and the slovak tanks captured moscow yeah this is going pretty well now we are also going for a little detour to leningrad the Slovak army is just unstoppable. Slovak tanks are better than the Soviet tanks. Also, uh, Hungary, what you doing there, buddy? So I have noticed that in this territory there are two dockyards, so I have traded it for Odessa with the Bulgarians, so now we can start our own production of convoys. And well, to boost this production, what we will do is a little exploit. We will in the focus is select the naval production. And yeah, that increases this is our dockyard output by 20% and if we do it again then it will give us two production bonuses and if we do it a million times It will give us like this big wall of text. I have been clicking that focus for at least 3 minutes now, so if we on pause, we should be able to make all the convoys that we need very quickly. And we will then send them to the Germans and boost our autonomy. So you see the convoys give a ridiculous amount of autonomy points, so let's go! Also there is no way that the Soviets are going to recover from this. So we can count this war as one. Oh fuck. Now we are a Hungarian puppet but that at least move us to Reich's protectorate automatically so yeah let's continue our little scam of boosting our autonomy fucking Germans betrayed us all the way but hey at least we got our industry back I think it is safe to say that the Slovaks have saved the day well hell the Japanese are not feeling very good right now oh now the Japanese have sent us their diplomat to discuss the export of hentai to Slovakia, Josef Tiso and Wojciech Tuka have welcomed Mr. Oshima to our country. You know, the deal looks really promising. Oh yeah, F's in the chat for the Japanese, I guess. Now they are just American puppet. No hentai for Slovakia now. Enough convoys exported and we are moving out. Soon we will be free. Just a good old exporting. Soviet Union down and we have gained 50% of their stockpile. Very nice. Now this is the size of true naval Slovakia. You may not like it, but this is the peak performance. Oh yes, yeah, Slovakian freedom goes Oh yeah, I really love when this just jumps and we continue. And finally, after all these years, Slovakia is a free nation. Free hurrahs for free great Slovakia. Now, before we get our huge ass navy, we have to prepare our country. And then we will fight back against the Germans. But we have a lot of time for that, so now we will be just preparing for a while. Kinda boring, I know. But you won't be seeing that because I'm gonna 
cut that out, so you are not bored as me. Oh shit, is this the downfall of the German Reich? Only time will tell, but it seems like it. And they are landing over in Brittany as well, and in southern France, but they will get massacred. My allies are slowly getting invaded by the allied forces, so we will slowly support the Democratic Party and prepare for a civil war. We will do a little switcherino of the sides, if you know what I mean. Truly a significant development, the spaghetti man will die soon. Now I will do what I have never done before, I will slowly prepare for the civil war. War. Ensure upper army command loyalty. Oh yeah, this is very nice. We just have to wait for the allies to make their way to the Germany. And then we will strike. You know when the allies get like here, we will declare a civil war. And basically get out of this second world war scot free. Even Switzerland is violating its own neutrality. This war is truly lost for the Germans. Oh shit, and then view Gwyn. That's like really close to Bratislava. Lava, you know. Oh yeah, now I'm properly scared of the Americans. I feel like for annexing Vichy France it's little too late Germany, don't you think? And second nuke landed on Hamburg. Yeah, the Germany will be a nuclear wasteland in no time. Now this is the real research that Slovakia had in World War II, trust me bro. This is the historically accurate Slovakia in Hearts of Iron 4, everyone was asking for. And even Berlin got a annihilated by nuclear explosion. Now I feel like we cannot wait any longer and we need to ignite the civil war. And yes, we'll join the allies. And we got most of our army ready to deal some massive damage. This is the historically accurate Slovak national uprising. It is just, well, two years later. But either way, it doesn't matter. Oh, I feel like the Germany has capitulated right now. Oh yeah, we joined just in the right moment. I have player -led at peace conferences and when I pass I only pass two points so I will be here for a while. Now this is what true peace in Europe looks like but still we need to fight a bloody civil war and by bloody civil war I mean we just have to take pressure off and this civil war will end. Oh for fuck's sake. Like Slovakia and Spain are the last members of Axis. You don't want to prolong this conflict bro trust me. You know you have just doomed Franco for no reason. Reason. And I have killed 21,000 Slovaks and they only killed 104. What are these casualties? This is just a very brutal civil war. And yeah, I just annexed Slovakia, but we still need to fight Spain. And also for some reason Turkey declared war on Romania as well. So yeah, Franco won't be alone in dying in this war. So yeah, this is where the fun begins. But yeah, now we can mainly focus on researching our new navy and then we will build it after these conflicts. You know, at least we will be able to use our navy outside of the Black Sea when we take Istanbul. Yeah, Ankara undefended. This conflict will be soon over. Just why? Why are you making this fucking border gore here? You just annexed Tanutuva. Now that we have finally achieved peace and I will get many, many, many death threats from many Turks. Oh, I wish I could rename Kurdistan to Kurvistan. We will finally, finally build our own fleet. Let's end the meme here. We need a little more time and then we will start building our grand fleet of Slovak Republic because, well, we need to keep an eye on our new little colony. I went out and get that Afrikusi. Now after so much fucking time and research it is time to design the perfect ship. Oh yeah, it is time to dream big. But first of all we need more supplies and we will create free carriers in less than a month. So yeah, the Slovak navy is now launching to the sea. It is glorious. Oh yeah, so our navy will train for more XP so we can build more ships and design new and better water vehicles. It is just beautiful to observe our ships training in the Slovak Sea now. Yeah, we have renamed that sea, what about it? 
now we want our own little submarines so yeah let's go the great slovak navy won't be stopped we are making one submarine per day this is just ridiculous we have like almost 6000 percent naval production output so uh, yeah gg easy thank you for my navy now our submarines are ready to join the fleet and join the training as well now it is time for slovakia to get some big badass battleships as well the ship production goes brrr. yeah again in less then a month we will build big badass ships ah is this the conflict where i will be able to test out my ships well don't mind if i do oh yeah we are never fucking mind but no we are still going into this war let's go slovakian navy for the win now let's see what we can do here oh yeah slovakian ships have saved the day we have sunk on two civilian convoys let's go let's go slovak navy strong Another two ships to our kill count, probably. Yeah, nothing can defeat this navy. War crimes go brrrr. This is where we flex our military naval muscles. Slovakia, the greatest naval power. Now it is even time for our little destroyers to be made. And again, the speed is just crazy. Yeah, so in no time we will build our great grand fleet up, as always. So yeah, another 25 ships are ready to go to Chinese waters. Oh yeah, these are the true gaming hours for the Slovak Republic. We we'll just mine all the seas around china it's about time that we get some cruisers as well oh we need so much steel for our navy yeah we can buy even more but it is worth it every civilian factory spend on importing supplies me and my homies are gonna make from changai shanks one china policy no china policy and the evil china was defeated now that china was nicely dealt with we are just going to return home with our big navy. Now after some time and building up, I made a big ass navy with 325 ships. I mean yeah, we were also very successful against the Chinese, we just lost one submarine here. And we have put 545,000 people into our navy, so yeah, you can see that this is the proper naval Slovakia. It took us a while, but it was all worth it at the end. Whenever I play Slovakia, it's a little passion project for me, so if you enjoyed today's video as me, don't forget to leave a like and yeah if you are new here and made it this far into the video hit that subscribe button and as always big thanks goes to my channel members their names are in the description and on the screen right now thanks again and see you later